Hey guys, welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial and today I am going to show you how we can create animated noise that drives the emission of particles and of course this is procedural so you can apply this to any kind of um, geometry you want to so the first thing is drop a grid and I'm going to copy this parameter and paste the relative reference here so that anything that we put here it does it uniformly then I'm gonna drop down an attribute Bob and then on our Bob what we would like to do is drop down a turbulence on the turbulence we're gonna grab our position and the position we're gonna plug into the color this is gonna give us a, a noise like this then we're gonna do a middle click right click and create input parameters and then the input parameter will allow us to control this out here. Now what we want to do is um, do dollar $f on your offset so that the animation um, takes place. But we're going to multiply that by 0 0.01 so that the animation is slower. Maybe 0.1. And you can also animate either one of these two as well, um, like this. So this is going to give you a random moving noise. And then what we want to do is we want to emit from um, one of the two things. So as I've shown you before, we can do a, um, a group expression. And on our group expression, we're going to select points and we're going to do add cd.r less than 0.1. And we will need to increase the amplitude, decrease the amplitude. Let's see. Let's find our sweet spot. So something like that. And this is going to be our emit group. Then let's drop down a pop net on our pop net we're gonna say source all of the points and source group mid group and the reason why I'm not deleting it outside is because this is a faster way of doing it uh, it's more efficient to try not to delete the points so we'll add a pop force here, just a little bit. And let's come out. So right now the, the life of the particles is too much. So let's drop it down to like a one and a 0.5. we need even less life 0.1 and 0.01 I just want to make make sure that you guys are able to see the final result and there we go so we have uh, this noise that is moving and it creates uh, the emission and this is something that you can use for um, for a lot of things but this is great for example for sandstorms and for uh, pyro simulations that that will drive um, some very interesting emission sources all right uh, so I hope you guys like this tutorial and uh, I'll be back with more